The next time your dog is begging to be taken out, don't think of it as a walk. Think of it as a patrol. That's the idea behind a new anti-crime program in Farmington Hills. Priya Mann has the details. And Priya, this really is a case of everybody wins, whether you have two legs or four. Absolutely, Kimberly. The program is called Paw Watch, and Farmington Hills Police are urging dog owners to give them a call if you see anything suspicious or something just doesn't feel right. And when it comes to how your canine could potentially help, it's not just up to the professionals. That's a boy. Good job. Meet Farmington Hills Police Canine Argo. In dog years, he's a seasoned veteran on the force for six years. Argo has been trained to catch the bad guys. I, you know, because of. But could Taffy help? She is a great dog. She uh, actually uh, is so good. Farmington Hills Police are calling on dog walkers to be extra eyes and ears for police. You coming? You coming, huh? Taffy's mom says she's all for it. I think people have to be aware. I mean, it's. I'm not going to be a victim. <laughs> for dog owners, walks become part of the daily routine. Now we can use that time to watch for anything suspicious or something that just doesn't feel right. I think it's a natural fit. Again, you're, you're just outside doing something that you normally do. Why not just, you know, just look around? That's all that we're asking. Appropriately called Paw Watch, the unique initiative was first implemented in Minnesota. After rave reviews there, police are giving it a try in Farmington Hills. People are animal lovers and dog lovers, and there's a lot of homes with dogs. And if people sign up in the program, there'll be a lot of extra eyes and ears out there making a difference in their community. People should be watching. People should be aware of things going on. And the chief says this is the first of its kind in Michigan. If you'd like to sign up, we've got information on clickondetroit.com. Police telling me they'll have their first orientation meeting sometime next month. Reporting live, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. What a great way for residents to take control of their community, Priya. Thanks.